start with pyrotechnics. Huh? So what do you mean by pyrotechnics? So there is no signaling. Okay. Signaling when? When you are in distress. Yes. So when there is a distress, not an emergency, distress, only distress. Okay. Emergency could be urgency, could be safety. But we are talking only about distress. So you can use the pyrotechnics only in case of distress. Okay. So what about pyrotechnics? We have on ships. Okay. First thing is antifreeze. Second, rocket parachutes. Which we have to use in the distress, and this is for signaling. Okay, to so draw the attention of other ships, aircrafts, your rescue teams, to grab their attention, you can use these pyrotechnics on board. Okay, so let's discuss. There are two places on the ship where we have pyrotechnics. First is lifeboat. First is lifeboat. In the lifeboat, you have pyrotechnics. And another is navigation of the bridge. Another is on the bridge. So we call them. These are the six fire techniques. And these are high boats. So if you have to leave the ship in any unfortunate situation, so that time you can use the live boat fire fire techniques. So in live boat you have all these three. Okay. So. There you will have, let's put it this way, six hand pairs. So rule is six four two. Okay, so hand pair is the smallest one and cheapest one. So that is six four rocket parachutes. And two point smoke signals. These are the pyrotechnics we have in the life boat, and each life boat will have this. Okay, same way your life rafts will also have this. So these are in all the survival rafts, but not in rescue boat. If it is exclusively a rescue boat, okay. But in lot of ships, the rescue boat is the same as the life boat, so then we will have. Okay, so this is the requirement for life boat. Now on the ships, for the ships, what is the requirement for pyrotechnics? Which are kept on the bridge. Twelve rocket parachutes. Only twelve rocket parachutes. No other. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? Okay. So let's discuss if we put hand flares on board ships. Will it be useful? And you are burning a or you are operating on a hand flare on the bridge wing. Is it helpful? You are already in so much of fire, and, and, and your ship is so big. So these these are basically useful to locate your position when you are in a small area or in a small craft. Okay, where uh, it might be possible that at a distance your craft will not be visible. So there it is okay. But on ships, only rocket parachutes are useful because here the visibility is quite long. Okay. So now we will discuss the technical specifications of these uh, fire techniques. Okay. So let's start with the technical specifications. We will make a chart. <coughs> so let's put hand flares. Rocket parachute, and buoyant smoke signal. 
Please don't talk. Okay? So if we talk about the hand pairs, let's differentiate on some categories. First thing is these two will emit the light. Okay? So let's discuss about the intensity of the light, luminous intensity of the light. So luminous intensity. Why I am comparing all three so that you can make a comparison in your mind and it is easy for you to remember when we have a comparison of all three parameters. So here as I told you this is the smallest one. So luminous intensity definitely will be lesser. So here luminous intensity, intensity is 15,000 candela. Okay? Rocket parachutes, it also emits the light. And the luminous intensity of the light is 30,000 candela. Buoyant smoke signals, they are not emitting any light. It is just a smoke. Okay? So there is no luminous intensity. Now let's discuss the color. Color of, color of their emission. So these two are emitting the light and that is emitting smoke. Color. So it will emit bright red color light. Okay. Same way, our rocket parachute will also have bright red color light. And the point smoke signal, it will emit. Okay, as per LSE code, color is not mentioned, orange or something. It is only mentioned highly visible color. Okay, so we will put highly visible color. So there is an option of the color, but it should be within the spectrum of highest visibility. Okay. Highly visible color. Oh. Duration. Okay, let's put it duration. Duration. The duration of hand spell is one minute. So basically, when you will burn it, it should burn for minimum one minute. Okay? It should give emission for at least one minute. Then rocket parachute, the duration of the emission of light is 40 seconds. But here is another specification that when you will operate a rocket parachute, it should rocket should go up, up in the sky up to an altitude of minimum 300 meter altitude. Okay? Minimum 300 meter altitude. When it goes up high at the highest point, it should burst and umbrella should come out and then the umbrella has to come down at a slower speed and this coming down the speed should not be means ascending rate we call it ascending rate ascending rate should not be more than 5 meter per second ok so this is the additional specification this is the duration 40 seconds 40 seconds is the light duration time ok for the wind smoke signal then it will be water borne you operate it it will emit smoke and the smoke duration is 3 minutes. Okay, whereas Avon Marcus duration is 15 minutes and orange color light that is specified. Okay. Now we talk about the visibility. So visibility, as we know, this luminous intensity is less, so here visibility will be the less of this. So here I just say visibility is something somewhere between 6 to 10 nautical miles. Okay? For point smoke signal, it is somewhere around 12 to 20 nautical, 15 to 20 nautical miles. But definitely this visibility also depends on the type of weather. Okay? So your nominal luminous intensity and all everything is there, but still weather is a, uh, another factor. So this is in the clear weather. Okay? 15 20 nautical miles, whereas here it will be somewhere about 20 to 30 nautical miles. Visibility of rocket parachute. Okay. Other than these three, these specifications, there are some additional specifications which are common for all three. 
what is that first thing is they should be stored in in water tight containers or waterproof containers you can call it third thing the second thing is they should be integral means of ignition okay means uh, if you have to ignite one or you have to burn one hand flare you need not to give any additional external spark or fire it should in, uh, fire integrally okay so there should be a internal combustion means okay means of internal combustion or ignition you can call it ignition okay third thing is the operating instruction of each pyrotechnic should be marked on it okay and in english because uh, over a period of time you might forget on there is a direction no? one one side it has to be go and another side it will event so you might uh, you hold it in the wrong way so for clearing that confusion it should be clearly marked operating instruction should be clearly marked operating instructions clearly marked on the on the pyrotechnic itself each pyrotechnic okay means if you have 12 pyrotechnics then each 12 pyrotechnics will have their operating instructions marked on it and fourth thing is that when you are going to operate these these should not explode okay so they should not cause an any human injury so by operating no explosion explode near the area okay and last but not the least there is one more uh, requirement common for all these pilot techniques that if they go into the water okay so after submersion of water 100 mm submersion of water they should operate for at least 10 seconds okay puri pani ke andar chali bhi jayegi na tab bhi at least 10 second ke liye they should burn okay so after 100 mm of submersion operate for at least 10 Okay, so this is all about the pilot. Okay, any questions?